First at five, all eyes on the rail industry right now as the threat of a strike looms. Two rail unions representing 60,000 engineers and conductors say scheduling and staffing issues are making their work lives intolerable. Tonight, negotiations are underway, but if a deal isn't met, it could be a crippling blow to the U.S. economy. That blow could hit West Michiganders already footing the cost of inflation. Yeah, we could see high prices, low stock, and even empty shelves. Our Doug Reardon shows us the threat of a strike is bad news for not just consumers, but business owners too, Doug. Right, it's going to be more expensive for them, and that means it's going to be more expensive for us. You know, guys, an economist told me today that so much of what we buy and eat and, and use to build our homes and fuel our cars travels by train. One third of American goods is on a train at some point in its lifespan before it gets to where it is going. And so for, again, those industries like auto, home building, fuel, and especially agriculture, this is really going to decimate business owners and consumers who are still reeling from pandemic-related supply chain interruptions. Is that beautiful or what? Who's going to buy these? Todd Quick owns Petridge Farms in Grand Rapids. He's worried a lot of what he's growing right now will never see a plate or a bowl. His business moves and grows by freight. Everything. I mean, literally, it's, it's all by freight. It's all by rail or by, by truck. With a looming rail worker strike, he's worried about being able to get products like grain out. And he's even more worried about getting things in, things that all travel by train. Well, boxes, for one thing. I mean, it's a big deal. It all comes by rail. Cartons for, for raspberries, you can't buy them here anymore. There's, I mean, baskets are almost impossible to buy. Well, just look at fertilizer. I mean, fertilizer's gone crazy. You know, for guys that use it, I don't use it, but... Two of the nation's biggest rail unions are poised for a picket over scheduling and pay issues. On Tuesday, the International Association of Machinists and Aerospace Workers authorized a strike, and the Brotherhood of Locomotive Engineers and Trainmen are expected to do the same. Grand Valley State economy professor Dr. Paul Isley says if it does happen, the effects on the economy will be swift. If we have a strike and it lasts more than a week, then the effects start to be real and they start to compound. There simply aren't enough truckers to pick up the slack, so food, materials, and especially fuel will all cost more for business owners like Todd. Talking $7, six and a half, seven dollars for diesel fuel? Well, that's what farms run on. It's all underscored by pandemic disruptions that only stand to get worse with a strike. There was no business. There was no business for anybody. I mean, that's a nightmare. Are you still recovering from that? Oh, God, yes. I mean, that was that was catastrophic to this industry. And now we're going to have a rail strike. This has nothing to do with politics anymore. This is real. I mean, it's not a joke. Yeah, it's not a joke for them. It's certainly not a joke for consumers, again, who are spending so much on things that didn't cost as much uh, three years ago, two years ago. Uh, speaking of politics, though, the rail industry is so crucial to the American economy. It's one of the few industries, in fact, that is subject to interve intervention from the federal government in positions like this, where workers are uh, planning or threatening to strike. Uh, of course, President Biden was in Michigan at an auto uh, factory today. We did not get to address uh, whether he might intervene on behalf of these workers and of this industry. Uh, we also reached out to both of those unions today. We did not hear back. We're live in Grand Rapids, Doug Reardon, Fox 17 news.